It started with the other three guys, actually. I wasn't really a part of it. I think I was doing Bowie's stuff, maybe touring or something. But uh, they had agreed to do a show at this place called The Music Box in New Orleans. I think this is maybe early 2018, maybe even before that. I'm a little bit foggy on the on the dates. but So they had written a whole set of music for that show. It was going to be a, The Music Box is this kind of outdoor space where there's a bunch of structures around it that are all kind of music instruments themselves. Like the the, the buildings have these kind of elements that you can kind of play in a way. Um, so there was, I think they were thinking of it as this really like collaborative, uh, and they worked with a, a bunch of local musicians down there, um, as well. So it was this really kind of collaborative outdoor experiential thing. Um, and, uh, not all of those songs, as far as I can remember, made it all the way to the end, but a lot of the songs ended up on time skips. And I feel like that that event especially sort of set the tone for what time skips eventually became like it was all sort of like a everything after was sort of an iteration of that event or like trying to explore that sort of aesthetic or that that kind of um that feeling there um and then maybe the second big moment was in uh 2019 summer end of the summer uh, we got together, we rented a, a house outside of Nashville and spent three weeks uh, really bringing like a whole bunch of songs to the table and trying to kind of see what worked and what didn't. And uh, then there was another session just before the pandemic wave kind of crashed on the U.S. in uh, January of 2020. And we were about to record, like we were um, scheduling studios in for march of 2020 and then kind of everything everything stopped um so then it was like are we going to be able to do this thing if we are how are we going to do it um and we kind of felt like there was we had maybe two albums worth of material like we had a lot of songs and uh we felt like there was a, a handful of songs that really relied on the more kind of performative aspects of us being in a room together and just kind of feeling where the other guys were going. But there were songs that were more kind of rigid structurally and like the tempo um, was more consistent and we felt like maybe we could pull those off remote. So that's, that's eventually what we did. 